We've met it in Berlin at the 2013 IFA and now it's here in our own labs. We're gonna analyze it, compare it, submerge it and review it. But first, we're gonna unbox it. I'm Anton Dinoid, this is Pocket Now, and you're watching the Sony Xperia Z1 unboxing. Here we have the packaging and while we're breaking the box free, let's talk a bit about the phone itself, which was rumored a lot before its official introduction. Of course, the quad-core Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at 2.2GHz and the 2 gigs of RAM are impressive and so is the water and dust proofing, but what we'd really like to see is the camera. We have a 207 megapixel shooter on this baby and Sony claims it to be, quote, the world's leading camera in a smartphone. We'll make sure to check that statement out, but here it is, the box of the Xperia Z1, the Xperia Z follow-up. The front of the box is rather clean with only an image of the device, but turning it to the back we see the available colors and some callouts for its key features, like the camera sensor and its technologies, the display, as well as the processor. Nothing on the sides except the make and model but let's see what's in the box. Staring at you from the side as you open it is the device itself, the Sony Xperia Z1, which we'll put to the side as usual until we check out the rest of the packaging and bundled accessories. We have all the usual stuff in here like the USB cable for syncing and charging, the power adapter, some literature which we always advise you to read, especially if your phone is waterproof because you have to know how to close all the flaps in order to keep it waterproof, and a pair of premium looking headphones, we'll make sure to check specifically out the sound quality for both the phone's output as well as the headphones themselves, and some multi-size gels to fit your ears, in addition to a clip which you can use to stabilize your dangling cables and lock them onto your clothes. Moving on to the phone, we'll switch to our special screen protector peeling cam for some plastic unwrapping action for the fans. Sony has kept the sandwich glass construction of the Xperia Z, meaning both the front and the back of the device are made out of glass. It looks very good, we'll give you that. However, it's not all about the looks. The Xperia Z1 is waterproof and dust resistant, rated IP55 and IP58, meaning it can be kept under 1.5 meters, which is close to 5 feet of fresh water for up to 30 minutes. Let's take a look around the Z1. The right side holds the SIM card slot with the flap for waterproofing, right below which you'll find the power button. Then comes the volume rocker and further down below there's something which we'd really like to see on any phone. A dedicated two-stage camera button for focus and shutter release. The bottom edge only features the speaker grill, while the left side has a docking station connector, which is magnetic, a micro USB syncing and charging port with its own cover, and the same goes for the micro SD card slot up top. The top has a 3.5mm headphone jack and you'll notice the lack of a flap cover for it. Sony managed to make the phone waterproof under the aforementioned IP ratings while keeping the headphone port uncovered. The 20.7 megapixel camera pops out on the glass back with the LED flash below, an NFC logo indicates where the contact point is, and then the Sony and Xperia logos remind you of what phone you're holding, should you forget. Behind the front glass there's a 5-inch Full HD display with triluminous technology from the latest Sony TVs. Up top you can find a 2 megapixel front facer, the usual sensors, as well as the notification light. Let's boot it up for the first time and while it starts we'll remind you of the specs. 5 inch Full HD display with 1920x1080 resolution, 2.2GHz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage expandable via micro SD card, 20.7 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel webcam, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, NFC, GPS, MHL support and Android 4.2 Jelly Bean with a 3000 mAh non-removable battery. Wrapping up the specs, we're looking at a waterproof IPX5 and IPX8, as well as dustproof IP5X enclosure construction. Everyone, we're gonna have a lot more coming on the Sony Xperia Z1, including comparisons, analysis, submersion, and the full review. Until then, check out our friends at Clove.co.uk who supplied us with this Xperia Z1 review unit, and you can follow Pocket Now on all the usual social media channels. I've been Anson Dinod, you can follow me in the links above. If you like this video, please give us the usual thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, stay safe.